So the question is, last time the Broncos were an underdog at home, that you, you're telling me they're two and a half underdogs. Two and a half for three, depending on what book you look at. I, I would know. guess that that's going to change a little bit. I would say it's going to go down to one, one and a half at the most. You think money's going to come in on the Broncos, huh? Yeah. I mean, if, if I were out there, I'd go, boy, the Broncos play at home. They're undefeated. Maybe Peyton can figure it out. The defense played so well. It's going to be a real tight game. I think it will sway a little bit toward the Broncos. I would guess, if you were you're, we're trying to look it up, of exactly the last time they were underdogs, I would say it was before Peyton Manning. Yeah, it's and, sometime during the Josh McDaniels era. Manning's first game. Pardon? Peyton Manning's first 2012, game? 2012, yeah. 2012. His first game against Houston? Yeah. Because nobody really knew what they were getting from Peyton Manning after four neck surgeries. Well, they had beaten, if I remember correctly, they'd beaten Pittsburgh, and then they lost at Atlanta, and... Then they so they were one and one going into that game against a good Houston team coached by Gary Kubek and yeah. and they did lose the game. That's surprising to me because I would have thought they would have been they had to be slight underdogs so it had to be 1. like 5. one point one five. and a half points. That's what I think yeah. is going to end up happening this weekend. The Broncos play extremely well when they're underdogs against the line. They are not good overdogs. Yeah, if you look at their historic aspects during Peyton Manning or even before that with Kyle Orton and Tim Tebow, if you call those eras, that they they tended to play. A guy wrote me the other, the other day and said they play down to the people they play against. Well, that's not true. They've been playing down to, they've been playing teams that weren't very good, so right. they weren't playing down to them. They were playing level with them. It's almost like, uh, and you and I have had a lot of time to consider this, it's almost like the Dan Reeves era where with John Elway, and Hel Elway hated it. He thought it was hell that Dan Reeves wanted to keep the game close, win it at the end. At the end. Yeah. So that's you you mean let the, John win it at the end. Yeah, but that's kind of <laughs> what uh, they're doing with Peyton Manning is they're kind of saying, we want you to win it at the end. The defense will keep us in the game and make big plays. And that's why I've had a lot of dispute with people over the last I don't think they're doing that consciously. Well, I, no. <laughs> I think they'd like to run out to 21 to nothing leads, but well, turnovers, I think, I think interceptions. Well, I did too, except he just wanted to manage the game yeah. and put them in that situation. Run on first down, run on second down, John Bale out on third down. Well, I down. wrote a column yesterday right. about, uh, and we'll get into our questions, I wrote a column yesterday about Peyton Manning. But sit back and enjoy this, whatever happens, just sit back and enjoy it and relish the moments you've had with Peyton Manning. And I've gotten it all over the board from... I, I, Here's the breakdown. All the emails, all the emails that I'm getting from women are going, you're absolutely right. Because women love Peyton Manning. I mean, not in the sense of love, want to marry him, but love him because they love the type of person he is and his commercials. Sure. And, and women played. sports fans are also more patient than male sports fans. And the male emails I'm getting are... Bench Peyton the Manning. mother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And then there's... The text I got from Peyton's father saying, nice story. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Just a nice story? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that meant? Uh, well, that he, he thinks I kind of summed up what's going on with Peyton well. Yeah. But I, it's kind of funny. It comes on the same day as other, his other son didn't play extremely well, but they won Still the game won, against yeah. Dallas.